so much. I miss you too. Hey. How was your trip? It was good. It was good. I'm glad to be home though. Oh, here. <laughs> Is that me? Yeah, I even got your guitar. Oh, oh my yes. goodness. I love you. <laughs> she was so excited to see you. Here. Oh, oh, hi. And so am I. Welcome home. I miss you too. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pete. Welcome home, superstar. Huh? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. I got your back. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. Let's go. So I heard that's a good show. Oh. So fun. <laughs> but you can't keep turning down these bigger tours for smaller gigs. Pete, you know, I can't be away from Mazzy that long. I'll take her with you. Look, you haven't been recording new music and your catalog sales are dwindling. The label's getting antsy. I'm ducking their calls. I don't want to do that Christmas album. <sighs> I have a meeting with them tomorrow morning and I need to give them an answer they need to hear. <laughs> this album is a good idea. Christmas songs are just they're not in my wheelhouse. <laughs> Make it your wheelhouse. There's something else you're not going to like, it though. What? They want you to record with one of the other artists in their stable. Who? Derek Copeland. Ah! <laughs> Derek Copeland? Who's Derek Copeland? Oh, girl. Come here. Let me, let me educate you. <laughs> From <laughs> the boy band? Enigmatic? Yep. But, wait, he hasn't released new material in, like, a decade and he's a pop star he's one of their premier artists he sold over five million albums worldwide yeah back when cds were used for more than drink coasters no i'm not doing it i'm, I'm gonna go back in the studio i'll work on new material Tess, fine. if you don't record this christmas album they're gonna drop you your contract's up december 31st they're bluffing yeah do you really want to find out tomorrow to sing what I... figure it out we need to release this album by mid-December, the latest. Hey, look, you'd be getting back in the studio like you wanted. Just recording Christmas songs instead of new material. So you want me to sing Christmas songs instead of spending time with my kid on Halloween? Glad to have you back. Studio, tomorrow, 9.30. Bye, Pete. Yep. All right, well, on that note, we have warm chocolate chip cookies waiting for you at home. God bless you. And I maybe picked up a bottle of your favorite wine. Uh, you are an angel sent from heaven. I know. I thank know. you, my friend. All right, I'll drive. Oh, thank you. All aboard. Hey. Hey. This is my little brother, the superstar. Help me out with this pie. What you do is put the berries in the pie. Can you handle that? I'll try. All right. How was your flight? That was fine. Shrimp and grits, fried green tomatoes, black-eyed peas, and cornbread. Mm -hmm. Seems a bit lazy for you, no? It's not. As I'm just saying you're not going to get that coveted Michelin star doing fancy versions of mom's recipes. This southern cuisine does not get its just due, but it will. Besides, you are never going to win any Grammys without recording new music. Ouch. Guess I kind of walked into that one, huh? Mm, a little bit. Hey, man, thanks for letting me stay here while I make the album. Yeah, of course. I mean, I was perfectly happy staying in the current plaza, but, you know, this will be okay. No, well, it's a waste of money. Besides, I guess I like having you around. Just don't mess up my pie. And that's the ray of sunshine I remember. Hey, hey Ange. this guy in here. Oh, it is good to see you. So good to see you. Wow. I know. Look at you. Can you believe what your brother did to me? Oops. <laughs> I hear you two in here antagonizing each other. Mm -hmm, Listen course. to me, you're both wonderful artists, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a good mom. Yeah, did you hear natural, that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One time you had to be at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Why are you spending all this time on a meal you're not even going to be here to eat? Because I do not want our baby eating frozen dinners. Mm. Ever. Okay. That would be sweet if you weren't just trying to impress your brother. He is not the only one with talent in this family. I know. Mm. It smells good. Okay. So you like your grits to be more like cream of wheat? Keep working on that pie, guitar boy. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Yeah. You too. You're obsessed. It's Halloween. Christmas is the best holiday. Are you excited for your session today? Not really. I downloaded some of that Derek guy's music last night. 
He's not as good as you. Thanks, sweetie. Do you think that'll make it home for Thanksgiving? Um, well, let's see. His tour stop is Chicago the night before, so... Yeah, I think he should be home in time. Can't wait to see the Christmas tree Dad gets us this year. Me too. But just a heads up, I think his band has to head back out right away afterwards, so I don't... I don't think he'll make it to your Christmas pageant. I'm really sorry, baby. What about you? Will you be there? Of course. I wouldn't miss it for anything. Okay, you finish that. Actually, just take it with you. It's yeah. cool. I got this. And yes. Okay, up we go. Right. Happy hump day, listeners. This is DJ Randy with the word on the street. Seems that our very own country ingenue, Tess Stapleton, is in the studio right now with none other, Mr. Enigmatic himself. Derek, the Heartbreaker Copeland. The two have decided to put out a Christmas album just in time for the holiest of holidays. So, let's hope that this album puts us in the mood for some Christmas cookies and presents. You must be Tess. I'm, uh... Liam Gladstone. <laughs> You're a living legend. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, they didn't tell me you'd be producing this. You've produced hits for everybody. Dolly, Faith, Shania, Carrie Underwood. I gotta tell you, your work on Beggar's Banquet just changed the way I listen to Stop, music. Stop, please. No, it did, really. I thought you were retired. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> when you've had as many failures as hits, sometimes the phone stops ringing, so... I hear that. This ain't gonna be one of those, though. Come on, let me give you the nickel tour. Thanks. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Now, Tess, the unique thing about this recording studio is that at one time it was actually a horse stable. Thus, stable doors. <laughs> and a maid. Yeah. Come on, wow. I'm gonna take you to ground zero. Thank you. <gasps> Welcome to Oz. Wow. This is sort of our main recording room. We do things a little differently here. Step in here is the mixing room. Wow. This is where the magic happens. Now let's put your stuff down. You can relax a little bit. Let's get that heavy guitar out of your hands. Just want to set it down over there somewhere. <laughs> you want some tea to loosen your pipes? I'm not sending you out for tea. No! Hell no, I got a guy that does that. Mint? With honey? Sure thing. Thank you. Okay. You can just put the tea down there, please. Thank you. I didn't bring any tea, but I can get you some. So sorry, I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? <laughs> Mortified, but yes, I will live. I'm Derek. Tess, hey. Nice to meet you. Big fan of your work. Really? Yeah. That, wow, that's... What's your favorite song? <laughs> Uh, um, I, uh, that is so funny. You know, I actually don't have a song called uh, I, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you don't have to pretend with me, okay? For the record, my favorite song of yours is Glass Jar. Not that anybody asked, but. <laughs> How you been, old man? Still working, which in this business is saying something. Tell me about it. Thank you, man. I would have thought I'd be doing a Christmas album, right? Hey, I'm just glad you're doing any album. Don't start. All right, here's the deal, you two. We got four weeks to record a Christmas record. Less than that if we're going to pull any singles, so we got to get started. Let's burn and turn. I'm going to jump in the booth, y'all set up, and uh, we'll get going. Don't you think we should talk about a song list first? Nope. We sing first, we think later. You know how it works. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. <laughs> You don't understand. Our families have despised each other ever since I can remember. It's personal. To them, maybe. 
Hollywood. In Bring the Holidays Home with the holiday movie The Spruces in the Pines. Tomorrow, 1110 Central on Ion Television. Positively entertaining. Me, 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 me. You fellas ready out there? How about you, Tess and Russ? Yep. Hey, Deco, we're going to want to done this? Going to try. All right. What are we going to sing? Deck the Halls. Sounds good. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Ba la 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 la, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Ba la 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 la. Wait, wait, wait. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I'm sorry. It was me. I, I thought I was out of the pocket. No, everything sounded great. Hey, let me call those notes. You just worry about decking the halls. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Right. Right. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Ba la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Ba la 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 la. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Derek, do me a favor. Just close your eyes, games, until we get a hit. Let's do three on the board. Hey, you got this. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. La 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. Don we now our gay apparel? La 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 la. Draw the ancient Yuletide carol. La 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 la. Okay, Tess, you're up. Now just relax and breathe and just lose yourself in the song. I, I'm not so concerned about a technical take. I'd rather have uh, emotion than perfection, if you know what I mean. Yeah. All right, let's take one. Uh, deck the Halls vocal track. Okay. Cool. Deck the Halls with boughs of holly. So full. Dangerous. Looks like we have a new one take champion on our hands. <laughs> That's good. Come on in. Yep. All right. Hey, what'd you guys think? Well, let me and Chris work our magic and futz with it a little bit, but it sounded real good in here. Yep. It's getting a bit late. Well, why don't you two clear out of here for the day and come up with some other songs for this record? And uh, imagine they ain't gonna be as easy as that last one. All right, still time for trick or treating. Aren't you too old for candy? Who's too old for candy? Who's too old for candy? It's a good song title. All right, let's see what we got here. You guys, this is just crazy. Oh, crazy. Oh, I know. I know. Okay, now do my love. Pick five pieces from the top to bed, okay? But we just got home. Whoa! <laughs> Ten. Six. It's fast time. Off you go. What oh. is that? What? You had to have seen that coming. Mazzy gets bigger every time I come home. I swear, it's like it's like she grows a half an inch every day I'm away. You're a great mother. No, you do your best to raise her as a single parent and provide. You are too hard on yourself. Hmm, I guess. So, what's the dreamboat like? Who? How many dreamboats are you working with? I fell on him today. You lucky duck. Let's switch lives. You can't sing and I can't design my way out of a paper bag. That is true. Mm hmm How was the recording, though? It was funny. As soon as we started singing, he mm -hmm. faltered. It was like he was afraid of the mic. Which is weird. You'd think he'd be more cocky. I mean, he has sold more albums than I can only dream of. Did you get to see his sensitive side? Uh, that just makes me love him more. No, I don't need him to be sensitive. I need him to be confident. I need this album to work. Look, it's been a while. Maybe he's just rusty. Trust the process. It will all work out. Okay, Oprah, you have to go home because I have to go to bed so I can wake up and be Christmas-tastic in the morning. 
Christmas. Go! Get out of here! Yes, ma'am. Yes, take, take all the music. Really? Well, I okay. know. That one, too. Bye! Bye! So, I listened to your albums last night. You did? Yeah. What do you think? All your songs are fun, but they have this underbelly to them. Let me guess. Kaleidoscope's your favorite track. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure, that one's catchy. It's a great single, but honestly, Geronimo is the best song you've ever recorded. Seriously? Yeah. The haunting vocals and those lyrics about being on the precipice of the abyss spoke to me. That song was actually the only one in the last two albums that I wrote. You gotta write more. Hey, that was a good session yesterday, y'all. I think that track just might make the album. Did you ever come up with a list of other songs you want to record? Yeah, you know, actually, I think we should do originals. Put our own stamp on the album. Why risk it on a bunch of songs that no one's ever heard of? Let's just stick to the standards and we can put our own twist on them. Uh, well, you just literally told me I should write more, so... I right, meant on your own album, not on this one. Okay, before we get ahead of ourselves, I think we need to decide what the sound of this record's gonna be. Yeah, we need a, a clean and polished sound for the record, right? No, I think it needs to have a more organic, live vibe to it. Oh. People stream music on $5 speakers now. It needs to be as clean as possible to stick out above the fray. I think we should let the recording process dictate the sound. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, all right, all right. I, I, here's what we're going to do. There's only one way to settle this. We're going to have a bake-off. That means you both go in the booth and we record, uh, let's say, Silent Night. One raw and dirty and, and one clean and pure. And we'll listen back and decide. Ms. Copeland, you're first. I'm first? Well, it was your idea. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round young virgin mother and child. Hey kids, let's see who wins this argument. Go ahead, Chris, let's play back one. On some of the songs, we go for that slick produced sound, and then on the more emotional, majestic ones, we, we, we capture that raw, gritty live feel. 
I can live with that. Me too. I cannot referee every little small decision between you two. If you don't get on the same page, we're not going to have an album to even talk about. So why don't you all get out of here and get to know each other a little bit better, bond, talk about Christmas or Tweeter or whatever it is you talk about, and I'll work with Chris and we'll finish this thing. Now. Okay. At, this, at this moment now. Okay, yeah. yes, oh, leaving. Oh, Currently oh, leaving. Thank, thank you, you, Liam. Bring me back plate of ribs, would you? All right, they're gone now. Let's get some work done. So was that little girl in Portland always dreaming of making the big move to Music City, USA? Well, my ex is here. My daughter was born here. And, you know, the music's here, so. That's why you went trick-or-treating. <laughs> Diving right into the deep end, aren't we? I'm, I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. I was almost married once. With many consolation. Really? Yeah, she was the love of my life, I thought. Hmm. What happened? Marie was my best friend. Trevor's, too. Your bandmate? Marie. We had this love that was organic, passionate, kind. Mm -hmm. But she also loved Trevor. Platonic at first. And then... Romantic. I just wanted things to go back to normal. Back to the way they were. And then when I asked her who she wanted to be with... <clears throat> she didn't choose you. And then I lost it. And then the band broke up. Sometimes things don't work out the way you expect. And I haven't been in a serious relationship since so. What about you? What's your story? I was young, dumb, fell in love with a roadie. Roadie? Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was my first tour. I was opening for Alabama Shake, and he was tuning their guitars. He saw me watching him, and he broke out in a Prince riff. Show off. Oh, yeah. He nailed it, though. I was in love before I knew what hit me. Jake, he has more talent asleep than most people exhibit in their entire career. But he doesn't have the desire or the drive to do anything about his own music. Which is okay, it's just Mazzy came along. Oh, and then you needed security. And stability. Mm -hmm. And then we booked different tours. You weren't spending the time. We just put it on the vine, you know. I mean, Jake is my best friend. He's a great dad to Mazzy. It's just, <laughs> not a good partner. When you date another artist, you end up dating their careers too. Oh. What? The label wants us on DJ Randy in the morning to talk about the album. Uh, so soon? <laughs> they want to promote it, and DJ Randy's the biggest influencer in Nashville. We should get back to the studio. Yeah, and get some rest. Early start tomorrow. Yeah. So the rumors are true. There's a... Well, I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Good to be here. Derek, Saturn Records has dusted you off the shelves. Where have you been hiding this whole time? You know how it is. You get success young. You get the road, having the time of your life. And then after a few years or ten, you've seen it all, you've done it all, and then you just get burned out. Took a sabbatical. You could say that. Where'd you go? Uh, here, there, everywhere. An international man of mystery. And Tess, you just got off tour with the Dixie Chicks. Yeah, yeah, I did. It was just the last few dates. So, guys, how's the album coming? What's the sound? It's country. Pop. Pop country? Is that a new genre? It is now. It'll be definitely more country, though. Maybe both. Give the fans what they want. Well, you better figure it out soon. So, what sort of songs are you working on? Original Standards. material. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys in the same studio? I mean, what's it like working together? Great. It's been awesome getting to record with Tess. Yeah, yeah. Every day's been a real treat. <laughs> Am I sensing some tension in the studio? No. No, no, no. Not necessarily. No, no. I mean, some days are better than others. Wow. You are in fuego today. <laughs> so, guys, what's the name of the album going to be? It's still a work in progress, right? I think it should be called... 
country Christmas album. Well, it's either going to be charming or it's going to be a train wreck. This is DJ Randy on 102 FM, The Mix. Give us a call to talk to the guys. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. I love the drama there. That was amazing. I mean, like, you and you and, oh, like, that's what we do. I mean, I can't wait to hear the album. It's going to be. Hello? What was that? What? Don't wet me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't think the label was listening to today's little interview? Do you think it was that bad? You were going to destroy what little career you have left. Well, you're booking us on promo tours, and the album's not even halfway done. You know what happens to an album nobody's ever heard of? Coasters. DJ Randy is a troublemaker. Of course he is. Now, there's no such thing as bad publicity, but just don't piss off the label. Otherwise, kiss your deal goodbye. I hear you. I sure hope so. Oh, 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 right there, right there. Oh, yeah. What was that, by the way? I am sorry, I just, I guess I was in rare form. Were you trying to sell an album or tank it? Look, I just got reamed out by my manager. I don't need this from you right now. <laughs> Your manager isn't the one promoting this album with you. We have an opportunity to make some great music. All right, don't mess it up by self-sabotage. Okay, all right, all right, you two, come on now. What's life without a few hiccups along the way? I'll tell you what it is, it's boring. I'm loving this fire and passion, but let's... I'm gonna jump back there, we're gonna get started. What are we singing? 12 Days. These lyrics are from the Stone Age. You think you can do better? Yeah, I do. DJ Randy is such a little pot stirrer. Mm. But you did not have to give him a bat and a ladle. You heard the interview? Oh, yeah. Mm. Any chance to listen to Derek's dulcet tones? Today was rough. Pete was not happy with that interview. Well, there'll be others. Yeah. yeah. Derek thinks I'm a self saboteur. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. In no. eighth grade, I'm not. I plead the fifth. You know what you need after a horrible day? What? Oh, Dancing? Oh, no, I want to. I can't. I have Mazzy. Oh, she's got to be in bed in an hour anyway. We can text Jenny to sit. Jenny's good. The Chuck Wagon is having a secret Santa singles party tonight. No, 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 no. It's not even Thanksgiving. Oh. You know you want to go. I have to be in the studio in the morning. Oh, okay. We will go for two hours. Tops. Put this on. Oh. I love this dress. Yes! Okay. See you in. Fine. We're yes. going. Woo! Two hours. Top. Let me hide. Hey, Derek, can you check this level for me? That works for you? Uh, it's great. Thanks. Thank you. Nice to join us. 12 days. Why are you walking like a duck? Dancer's legs. That's not a thing. You smell like a brew pub. I do not. <laughs> Your 12 Days lyrics really uh, are more contemporary now, though. Are you going to be able to sing today? <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go, senor. You sure you're okay? Okay, people, let's get this Christmas party started, huh? See if we can get this in one take. We're burning money. You start. Well, this ought to be interesting. Let's do it. A full life filled with glee. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two back rubs and a full life filled with glee. Yeah. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French kisses, two Well, that sounded surprisingly good. <laughs> yeah. So, I didn't think you were going to make it. Congrats. Me neither. Hey, uh, Derek, 
Why don't you take uh, Miss Tess down to the diner and put some food in her belly? We got a lot of work today, and I'm going to need her conscience later, okay? That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Good job, sweetheart. Good job, fellas. Good job, guys. See you in a bit. Good Thank you. Yeah. I'm so hungry. It's good? Yeah. No, I love it. Bird cake. Oh. And ribs. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Two coffees, two hummingbird cakes, and ribs for the lady. I... I really am sorry about yesterday. It's water under the bridge. You really came through in those 12 days lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you think we could have at least one original track on the album? Yeah. If you write it, we can. Yeah? What are you thinking? Something up tempo? A Christmas dance song? <laughs> no. No, I think like a a love song. Oh really? Is this the one you like? Thank you. Thank you. What? Don't ask questions, just eat. Hmm. Yeah, mm. this will do. An old love? No. Love songs about falling out of love, like last Christmas. No, I think falling in love. When was the last time you fell in love? It's been a while. What do you feel like? Like being pulled out in an undertow and then washing up on shore. That sounds intense. Do you think our fans are going to like this album? <laughs> they will if they know it's good for them. Yeah. You think I should tell them that I'm living with my brother in a spare bedroom while we make this album? <laughs> mm-hmm. Think it'll make me more relatable? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, my ex-husband Jake lives with Mazzy and I whenever he comes into town, and we've been divorced for three years. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, he's on the road so much, it just makes more sense. Good to have him on deck for some midnight snuggling. There is none of that. <laughs> that arrangement must wreak havoc on your dating life. What do you mean? How is somebody supposed to get close to you with your back? Oh, oh. hello. Oh. Speak of the devil. <laughs> hey. You smell like Cleveland. Well, you look like Hawaii. <laughs> <sighs> like a storm coming in off the water? No, I mean, beautiful. Don't start. How long are you staying for? <sighs> it's the day after Thanksgiving. Mazzy will be excited. How about you? Get you settled in. Hey, so Tessa's ex stays with her and Mazzy whenever it comes into town. Do you think that's weird? Not really. No. I mean, how are you supposed to get over someone if you live with them? You like her. Like her, like her. Hey, Ange! Oh, wake up your wife just to make fun of me. Love is worth it and hilarious. Ange, get in here. Shh. I'm not in love with Tess. You do realize all you do is talk about her, right? You're crazy. You're crazy. She's a single mom, Derek. Okay, well, hold on. What's that supposed to mean? It just means that it's been a long time since you've been in a relationship. 
or had a commitment. And kids are a big commitment. You don't have a pet or a house plant. You really think you could have two females in your life and really nurture that? Who is doing all of the yelling in here, you two? Yeah, great job. Yeah. Oh, nothing sexier than a man with tools in his uh, hand. I knew you'd mm. think so. <clears throat> mm. Hey, guess mm. who Derek is in like with? Who? Stop it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, okay. okay. all right. Sound like yeah. 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 He sounds like a little like, like Matt. Matt. You ready for bed yet, kiddo? Just one more time, please. Really? <laughs> Again? Come on. Not a problem, darling. The night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. In hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Oh, thank you. You know, she is getting so big. <sighs> How's that Christmas album coming? Okay. Is that all I'm gonna get? Test the country first. And Derek Copeland, the pop star, cut an album. I'm certain you have opinions. Okay, um, some days I want to kill him, and then other days I just think he's so talented. I don't know, it's weird, it's complicated. Sounds like it. <laughs> what? Well, you can't say his name without smiling. <laughs> That's not true. Go ahead, say his name without smiling. Derek. Well, you look like you're about to have an aneurysm. <laughs> no, he's not my type. He's just, he's spoiled. He's entitled. No. Mm -mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> Do you think I want to be doing a Christmas album? At least you're in a studio. I mean, 10 years ago, when we were first starting out, we would have killed for some free. I do. We've come a long way. Hey, you want to try that original track today? It's not ready. You can't be precious about it. You're gonna need to release that baby to the world so people can hear it. And soon. I know. Let's just give it a go. What's the worst thing that can happen? You guys hate it? <laughs> what do we know anyways? Let's give it a try. Okay, Tessie. Your turn to shine. Got Winter Wonderland on the board. Take one. Snowflakes falling in the air Like diamonds shining in your hair You call my name, all I can do is stay Cause Christmas time means miracles And lights make you so beautiful And mistletoe is hanging everywhere I could walk every mile around this world But nothing would compare Hey girl, what are you doing here? Nothing. Aww. Well, we just figured we'd come see you at work. Oh, how? Is that a new song? Yeah, did you like it? Of course. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Jake. Uh, Derek. Copeland. You don't have to say anything else. Every woman over 35 knows who you are. <laughs> now, this is our amazing daughter, Mazzy. Hey, Mazzy. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. Your, your mom talks about you all the time. My mom's favorite song of yours is Love You to the Max. Oh, really? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. I've been listening to Enigmatic on Spotify. It's on our treadmill workout oh, mix. Nice. <laughs> around until you're 18. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's all right. I'll break you out of kitty jail. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <clears throat> um, do you want to come over for Thanksgiving? 
What? <laughs> come on. Something anyways, and he can't come over sure for Thanksgiving. Well, do you have plans? I, I do have family in town. Oh, well, then you bring them. Duh. <laughs> what? The spirit of Christmas told me to invite him. Mazzy loves Christmas. More than my birthday, and that's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, more the merrier. So, Maz, you ready for that Christmas page? I'm still a bit nervous. You are. Well, let's yeah. see if we can't do something about that. How about a new oh, capo? That's a nice one. Nothing but the best for our little artist. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. So, Mazzy, what was all that Thanksgiving business earlier? <laughs> Definitely gets that from you. <laughs> and you worked up quite an appetite flirting with Derek today. <laughs> okay, yeah. no, I'm not talking with you about this. <laughs> no, that's not a bad look on you, though. What? Happiness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Album. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's me? Oh, yeah. Tons. <laughs> so, I met her ex. Really? Yeah. How did that go? Awkward. Yeah. It was like two rams sizing each other up, getting ready to lock horns. It's not a great look. No. But her daughter invited me over for Thanksgiving. Huh. Yeah. You gonna go? I don't know. It might be rude not to, right? Oh, yeah. Especially if you're trying to date her mom. Shut up. I'm <laughs> just saying. You guys could come with me. Mm -mm. No, it's a busy night at the restaurant. It's a prefix menu. And you said yourself a monkey could execute that. Do not use my words against me. Oh, what about Angela? Huh? This is when she loves to cook. Are you going to put a woman who's eight months pregnant on her feet for 12 hours cooking you a meal? What is this, the Stone Age? Okay, fine. We will join you at your new girlfriend's house for Thanksgiving. She's... Oh, you have outdone yourself, lady. Oh, they're here. Really? Yes. Coming! Hey, hey welcome! Hey! Come on in. Hey, guys! Hello. Hello. Come on in. Yeah. Uh, Christina! Hey, this is Derek. Derek, Hi. this is my best friend, Christina. Hi. Uh, charmed, I'm sure. Uh, I'm a, sorry, I'm a huge fan. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you remember that tour that Enigmatic did with Christina Aguilera? Uh, parts of it. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 how do you like Nashville so far? Uh, it's, it's been really nice. Cool. Yeah. Wait, let me know if you want somebody to show you around town, you know, somebody hot. Single. Thank you. Okay, that's Are you dating anyone? Uh, this is my brother Mike and his uh, wife Angela. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice to meet you. He's told me so much about you. No, no, not really. Hi, uh, Mike. Congrats. Hi, Derek. Hey, Mazzy, I brought you a gift. An oh, advent calendar. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, that is so sweet, but I'm going to take that. Otherwise, December will be eaten before Black Friday. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, who's hungry? That'd be me. I am. Starving. Yeah. She made it. Yes, she made it. The little hands are Okay, Amazing, man. Yeah. Oh, that's a good That's a good turn. Okay, guys, grab your... To friends old and new, to people tried and true, break the bread and drink the brew. Happy Thanksgiving from me. To you. Oh. That's very great. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. I like that. Thank you. I like that. Um, I'd like to toast our beautiful hostess, if I may. Oh, you may. <laughs> I want to express my gratitude to Tess and, of course, Massey for inviting me and my family to join you on this holiday. I don't think either of us could have guessed that we'd end up here sharing a meal with our families, but I'm thankful that the record label brought us together. You've helped me rediscover my love for music. And I'm grateful for the time that we've spent together. And the time still to come. Oh, good grief. To Tess. Uh, to Tess. Tess. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Come on. Thank you.
Let's eat. Yeah, yes. Anybody, uh, Dig in. Yeah. Oh, oh thank you. Matthew needs uh, a one. Yeah. 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 And, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man, it's oh. so full. Yeah, but so good. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, Tess, thank you. It was a wonderful evening, but I need to get this one home. Yes, we had a great time, but I am tuckered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stay to help with the dishes. Yeah, of course you will. Food was amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Coming from you, I know that's a lie, but thank you. Mm -hmm. thank Good you. night, guys. All right. All right. I am going to beg off, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I got a hot date tonight. <laughs> tonight? There are lots of lonely single guys out there looking to start families. Oh, single Santa. Number 23. Oh, yes. oh okay. Good luck. <laughs> um, it was nice to meet you. Bye. Mom, here he comes. Okay, so every year after Thanksgiving dinner, Jake sets up the tree. Mm. <laughs> May I present this year's Christmas tree? It's finally time for Christmas. Maybe I should go. This feels like a family moment. Oh, no, 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 please, no. As soon as Jake pulls out the tree, I'm pretty much invisible to them. Stay. Keep me company. Wife seem nice? They are. <laughs> Criminally so. <laughs> Jake seems nice. <laughs> he's harmless. He's a big kid, but he's a great father. That's good. Mm -hmm. For Mazzy, I mean. Yeah. What's good for you? What do you mean? In a partner. What works for you? Dependable. Sure. Stable. Loving. Supportive. Loves Mazzy. It's all standard. Puts our relationship above their career. Puts in the time. Do you think you're in a place where you could do that for someone? Put someone before myself. A romantic someone? I have feelings for her. No. It's not like that. Hey, Darren. Mazzy wants you to help her with her guitar. <laughs> you should get back out there. You seem like a good dude. I can be. <laughs> Mazzy loves you too, though I cannot see why. She's a good kid. Best thing I created in my whole life. You know, the more time you spend around Tess, the deeper you're gonna fall in love with her. So if your intentions aren't entirely pure, I'd end it now, while it's still fairly innocent. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. You're not gonna threaten to hurt me if I break their hearts. Tess can handle you all by herself. It's you that'll be hurt. Wondering how you messed all this up. So this is 12 Days of Christmas from your Tess Stapleton and Derek Copeland. The phone lines are open. On the first 
last day of Christmas, my true love gave for me a full life filled with me. I think I need to look for a place of my own, you know, for when I'm not on the road. She'd probably spend more time in Nashville. What's wrong with you staying here and with us? It's confusing. Not for me. You both love me. You're just not together. It's confusing for us, kiddo. Your mama, she deserves a real partner. So do I. I mean, it's not going to change how we feel about you. <laughs> I know. Hey, look, I won't be that far away. You could have your own room. Uh, it'll be closer to school. A pool? <laughs> we'll see. Um, it still sucks. I'll still see you just as much. I promise. More even. <laughs> well, I'll be back in a few weeks. Hi, Jake. You know, you might want to give the guy a chance. Can't break your heart if you don't let him in. Do you like him? No. <laughs> but I don't have to. <laughs> oh, right. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. <laughs> mm. Saunders, and today on Sunshine Morning, I'd like to introduce to you our next guest, Derek Copeland and Tess Stapleton. New coming Christmas album, A Country Christmas. How are the both of you? Doing great, yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, pleasure to be here. The album's done, yes. Not quite, almost. Just a few more finishing touches and then it's there. What made you want to do a Christmas album? I've always enjoyed the, the classic Christmas standards, the challenge of topping the greats who have come before, putting a new spin. Uh, and Tess loves writing new songs, exploring feelings and traveling to untapped places of emotion. So we thought we would get together and make some beautiful music. What better time than Christmas? What's been your favorite song to work on so far? Ah, uh, let's see. Mine would definitely have to be Silent Night. Hmm. I also really liked reworking the lyrics to 12 Days of Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. And this original that, that Tess wrote, too. Sounds like you guys have been having a good time in the studio. Perhaps maybe a new romance in the world? <laughs> <laughs> We're just um, having a good time making the album. Yeah, you know, when you, when you work together and you, you're recording an album together, you just spend so much time together. So you have to get in the same headspace, you know, make sure you're on the same page in the same groove and you know we've just we've become really good friends if you say so <laughs> stay tuned to hear them sing live after the break Live in the studio, Tess Stapleton and Derek Copeland singing this original Christmas track, Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Nothing 
something about the way you smile makes me feel this you'll tie. This Christmas, I just want you by my side. And I could walk every mile around this world. Nothing would compare to growing old with you. In this winter, wonderland. In this winter, wonderland. I could fall in love. I think you should hold like the last chord, you know, like instead of hold it double because it feels like the reason why it's thin is it feels rushed going out of the course. Yeah, you it know? does. Hold it longer. Okay, that's a good idea, actually. Oh, Pete. Hey, P, what's up? Carrie and the Woods manager just called. They want you on the tour starting in January. Ah. Are you kidding me? No, you have a week to decide. Make the It's a big tour. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of time on the road. What are you gonna do? No idea. Hey, my two cents. Y'all remember Fleetwood Mac? They took all their pain and heartache and they poured it in their music. That's why the music sounds so great. Sometimes I think that's where great art comes from, is being able to open your heart and bleed for it a little bit. Anyway. Hey, I got a lot of work to do here. Y'all worked hard enough. Why don't you knock off the rest of the day and uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Go enjoy yourselves. Wow. There's some good skaters here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Not oh, me. Mazzy, I'm including you in that. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, do you want to come write Christmas pageant at school? Are you performing? Of course. Well, then I'll be there. Cool. Hey, guys, watch this. Wow. Right? She's so good. Seriously. My dad just got into town for the holidays. Oh, yeah? Oh, he's probably so glad to see you. I wouldn't exactly say we're best friends. It was hard on all of us. But my dad thinks he has the monopoly on pain. Everyone grieves differently. Sometimes you just don't want to be around someone who feels the same way you do. Well, yeah, especially if you're trying to hide those feelings. I'll get over them. I'm actually ditching my brother Treacher me to be here right now. What? No, you didn't have to do that. I wanted to, trust me. You need to go be with your family. You guys could come with me. You don't need a buffer between you and your dad. Please, 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 please. Mazzy! Hey! Hey! You wanna go do some tree trimming? <gasps> yeah! Yeah? Thank you. We'd love to. Right. Huh? Say that? Wow, what Say is that? that? Yeah. Christmasy house. Yes. Oh, you have three of those snowmen, don't you? <laughs> no, but I need them. <laughs> Check out the tree. Oh, you you Thank, Thank you. Hey. Hello. You finally made it. Hey. Nice surprise. Merry Christmas. Hey, Mazzy. Hey, Angela. Where have you been? I've been blowing up your phone. Oh, avoiding you. That's what I've been doing. Oh, you're welcome. Happy holidays, old man. It's good to see you, son. I missed you. Both of you. Dad, this is Tess and her daughter, Mazzy. Hey. 
Well, hi there. <laughs> you didn't tell me he had a new girlfriend. Oh, uh, we're just, just friends. friends. Oh, brother. <laughs> what can I say? My son doesn't think he can be tamed. Ladies, can I get you something to drink? A little eggnog, maybe? Come on. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Dad, you seem different. Yeah, he's, uh... Happy now. This has kind of been freaking me out, actually. Oh, try to be happy. You guys could do the same. I'm sure your mother's sick of us being down in the dumps. Yeah, she would be. Is that why you booked this Christmas cruise? You don't even like boats. Yeah. Yeah, but your mom would have loved it. She always told me I needed to see the world, so I'm doing exactly that. You should, too. You want a drink? Yeah. Thanks. What's Anna bring you? Oh, I feel it. Hey, I bet you are. Yeah. Uh, well, those are you know, both great Christmas. topics. Yeah. So what's the deal there? I mean, you were smitten as a kitten with catnip. <laughs> we're just recording an album together. Just an album. So uh, you going to ask her out after you stop working together? Is that the plan? There's no plan. Yeah, don't try, Dad. I've tried, and uh, he's useless. There's your drink. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Let's get you to bed. Say good night. Hey, if you ever want to trade Massey in, I've got two boys I would trade for her in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. and I I've met your boys and they're trouble. I'm not the wannabe rock star here. I, I just need to point that out. Oh, like I said, trouble. Trouble ain't always bad. It was nice meeting you. You too. And you. <laughs> Come on, I'll walk you guys out. Come on. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Holidays. Happy holidays. Merry, Merry Christmas. Um, I guess uh, I get home. I've got Trevor Gallagher in the studio today talking about the upcoming boy band revival tour. Trevor, as you know, is from the boy band Enigmatic, whose other founding member, Derek Copeland, is actually working on a Christmas album right now. Trevor, are you excited about this album? Yeah, uh, I'm excited that he's back in the studio making music. Trevor, there's no love lost between the two of you. Why did the band break up? Sad to say it was over uh, a girl. Because of a lady, okay, was it worth it? Losing my brother, my best friend, my, my partner? Come on, what do you think? You're about to go on an arts tour with the other bands from the era. I mean, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, it's uh, everyone that came up with us in the business, so we're doing the songs that made us famous, but also our new songs and solo stuff, too. But without Derek, I mean, does he even know about the tour? <laughs> I... I don't know. I don't think that anyone thought he was back in the business until recently. Would, would, would you want him on the tour? I mean, is there any bad blood? No. I think the, the fans would love it, and I would love it too, so... Yeah, who knows, maybe I'll give him a call later this week to see what's up. I got a better idea. How about we call him right now? Uh... Right now? We'll do it right now. Uh, uh, just, you'll be fine. Just, here uh, we go. Uh, From 102 FM, The Mix. Top of the morning to you. Derek, I'm sitting here with Trevor, and we're talking about putting the band back together for the early aughts nostalgia tour. Trevor Gallagher? That's impossible. Hey, hey, there, brother. Yeah, yeah, it's really me. You clearly am dreaming. I know it's been a while, but... I thought maybe we could clear some things up. Not just for the fans and for the music, but... For us. I don't know if I'm ready for that. Maybe just a meeting or a uh, talk. We can see what comes from that. Maybe you could 
do a few dates and sing a few songs. All right, we'll see. Okay, well, that's all I can ask. And Derek, <sighs> I'm sorry. Me too. Oh, this is too bad. Possibly a Christmas miracle. The band Enigmatic might be getting back together, even if it's just for a few of the upcoming tour dates. We'll take whatever we can get. This is DJ Randy on 102 FM The Mix. And we'll be right back to you after a few paid sponsorships. You guys just want to run it while we're waiting for Derek? Yeah? What child is this? See what happens. <laughs> is doing a nostalgia tour and Derek here agreed to get back on stage with Trevor. Well, that's, that's huge. I didn't know you guys had made up. We haven't. You got on the radio and told everybody you were going to tour and get back in the band with Trevor. Well, I guess I'll just accept that offer too. Why? Because I can't have success without this being a competition? No, because career is what's most important, right? Isn't Mazzy's Christmas pageant tonight? I don't think it's a good idea for you to come. Why not? She asked me to. I, w I want to go. Because she'll be excited to see you. Kids get attached, and if you're not going to be around, I'd assume rather you not be there. I'd rather set the tone for that now than later, you know? I'm coming. Don't bother. <laughs> What's her deal? I mean, she should want these kind of opportunities for our careers. Well, sure, for your careers, and if your relationship's strong enough to handle it, that's great. But, you know, if you lose her in a cloud of what-ifs, well, that's tough. Why don't you just tell me what she wants? You guys sounding great. Why don't you take five?
Magic. Hey. Lizzie, you were amazing. <laughs> really. Thanks. I'm accepting all compliments. <laughs> I told you not to come. Yeah. Come on, Mess. Come on, babe. I'm just here for Mazzy. Yeah, well, I'm here to protect my kid. And I don't want her getting close to you if you're not going to be around. Are you talking about Mazzy? Or are you talking about you? We have something here. Everyone sees it. But how do you expect us to nurture this, whatever this is, if I never see you? You're going on tour. You're doing the same. But it's not the same thing. I hadn't even said yes to the carry tour, and you just so cavalierly jumped ship. You don't understand. You would be crazy not to take that tour. That is the difference between you and me. Because if I ever have to choose between family and career, I choose family every time. I've done it before. I want her to grow up here in Nashville. I want her to go to school. I want her to have a normal life. So I'm only gone a few days, and I don't miss the important stuff. But you're willing to be away from her now. She's just going to have to come with me. This tour would just, it would set us up for years. I can't pass it up. But you expect me to. <laughs> if neither of us is willing to sacrifice, then where does that leave us? Alan. got the release party tonight, and then it'll be done. And what about Tess? We're already done. Life isn't all about work and success. You have to make time for the good stuff. Sunny. If you get stage fright, just remember, they want you to succeed. Thank you. numbers so far by the way and the first single off the album is tracking great we think you guys have a real chance at a hit album here which we all know both of you need the label loves the new album name and wants to renew your contracts as well great job
It's too bad both of you guys are going out on separate tours since we just resurrected your careers. Tess, I don't want to end things like this. I don't want to end things. Then what about everything? Just stop. Wait. calling you back to L.A. Okay. It's been good seeing you. Mm, I'm sad you won't be here when, you know. I know. I'll be here in spirit. Okay. We'll miss you. I'll miss you guys. Thank okay. you. Back. Right, now get back inside. It's freezing. Yeah. I know. <laughs> be safe. You be safe. <laughs> no guarantee. <laughs> Check it out. Nashville request they've been flying in for the hot new Christmas single from Tess Stapleton and Derek Copeland only here on 102 FM The Mix DJ Randy Al. Great take, Derek. Could have done it without you, old man. Hey, you did all the heavy lifting. All I did was make sure to hit record here. All right. You think this will work? Only one way to find out. What's the point of all this? There's nobody to share it with. <laughs> what about work? I spoke to the label, and they want us to do an album of love songs. Originals. <laughs> I'm writing all the songs? We are gonna write all the songs. There'll be a tour. We'll do it together. The album should be done by late spring, and if we tour this summer... <gasps> Massey can come with us. <laughs> You understand my life is complicated. Not anymore. 